Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels and this is about Moodle and how to upload files to forms and assignments. The uploading procedure is uh, uniform throughout uh, the Moodle interface but for uh, users who've never attached a file or browsed for a file or uploaded a file to a website it can be quite uh, a challenge. So let's resolve that challenge and make it easy for everybody. Your first stop is, uh, of course, Moodle.org if you haven't already seen the application itself or the, um, the website. It's great resources there, nice people. Take your time to get a chance to take a look at it. And this site is particularly geared towards my students at uh, my high school. So we'll be using my site as the demonstration. Uploading is easy. The uh, spelling, of course, counts in my class. And so I should spell browse correctly. Uploading is easy. Browse. Um, the biggest problem that everyone encounters is finding the document. Um, and then going to the upload and then it's easy. It's uh, basically a three-step process. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it. We'll go to my class and you'll see I've already logged in. Let's go down, let's go to the top. I'm logged in already. Uh, you can see that right there. Scroll down, week 20. Let's uh, go to the final uh, and I'll upload a bogus document for the final. But Upload your PowerPoint here. Make sure your last name is in the file name. So let's go find a PowerPoint document. Have I created one recently? No, I haven't. But I can create one here using my open office. Let's go ahead and do that. Alt file. I don't like using the, uh, the mouse. Uh, it's not trustworthy. It jerks around a little too much for me. And I'm faster on the keyboard. So I'm just going to do this to the keyboard. File save as. Uh, tab. And then I can by hitting the arrow key down, I can find what I'm looking for. I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint document, and I'm going to include my last name, Daniels. And then I'm going to save it. Save. <clears throat> and I take note that it's in my documents, which is a good place. Desktop is also a good place. My documents. Desktop, my documents, desktop. Whichever one you choose, make sure you remember. Let's put it on the desktop. Click save. Document contained, of course, blah, blah, blah. They, they say, that, yeah, do you want to continue to save? Yes, I want to save it in the Microsoft PowerPoint format. I don't normally do that, but for this purpose, for the sake of this demonstration. Now, let's go back to my demonstration. And as I already mentioned, F5, finding a document. So we browse, we find the document. Now, did I put it on the desktop or did I put it on my documents? I put it on desktop because I said I was going to remember to put it on the desktop. Here are my details. Click on this magical button, details, and then the date modified. And it will find the most recent document which happens to be right there. It's the most recent document because I created it at 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. So that is, is my target document. Easy pleasy. Click on it. Click open. Now you can see that the document is now there. If I hit the end key, you can see Daniel's Moodle Uploading Files How To PPT. Upload this file. And in a couple seconds, it will say File succeeded. Uh, file uploaded successfully. Click continue. Now what I encourage my students to do is to open the document and look at it to make sure that what they uploaded is what they wanted to upload. Uh, yes, silly to say, but um, too many times I've received documents that have bared no semblance whatsoever to the assignment because something else was uploaded. Okay, open link in new window. I'm using Firefox, by the way, because I detest Internet Explorer for all the right reasons, uh, or all the reasons you can imagine. And 
Now it's going to open up my PowerPoint document, which is right, which is right here. PPT. See that? PPT. That's what I wanted to download, and we can see that it's here. Looks good. And close that. I don't want to confuse the viewer. So again, uploading is fairly easy. Uh, we forgot a detail. Browse. Uh, and browse, and then you have to click open. Click open. Upload, and you're done. Escape, Control S. I'm going to save this back into the ODP format. Yes. All right, and Daniel's Moodle uploading. Okay, I don't want to save it in the temp folder. I want to save it in my documents. Save. There it is. F5. Okay, biggest problem again is finding the document. We found it. Click open, upload, easy. Now you could do these yourself using Demo Studio on your XP box or XFig Cap on your Linux box. Share the wealth of your own screencasts and publish. Um, I'm finding, to my chagrin, that there's not a whole lot of difference between the developed and developing world in terms of the quality of education. Everywhere I've been so far, most schools are delivering education as if it was the 18th century, pushing books and paper using evaluation and feedback mechanisms that are just about as antiquated as the paper and pencil. Yes, they are effective in tiny classes, but in the reality of big classes, big demands, we need bigger answers, bigger, better answers. We can fix this by using the new, uh, by making good on the promise of new technology, by uh, helping everyone uh, learn how to publish and publishing their repackaging of information. Screencast is my way, and building LTSP networks for your business, your home, your school, community center, retirement community. LTSP.org, check it out. I want to thank you for your time. Again, my name is Dennis Daniels. Send me an email if this helped you or someone you know. Thank you, and happy commuting.